Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is the Vikings Garage. And in today's episode, it is a very important episode nonetheless. Today, we say goodbye to the Red Forerunner. It is going to make his long journey to his next owner. And first, I do want to share with you guys some of the things that I did want to sort out with it. But at the end of the video, do not tune out because there is something else I want to share with you guys that is going on with this right there. As you can see here from this footage, one of the things I needed to sort out was this caliber bracket totally stripped the old one so I needed to replace it with a new one uh, I wanted to make sure that they would have absolutely no issues with the car so another one small thing that I did want to sort out in the red one is well I'll let you guys see it but first check out the lighting that I got going on here I don't even know where I got this tripod from, but let me tell you something. <laughs> this thing looks really old, but guess what? Guess the job done, but here we go, guys. What I'm gonna do, and I'm sure some of you might have ran into this in the past, because I'm running a spacer. You can barely even see it, but there's a spacer underneath there, and I reused the same nuts. Uh, it kinda is not, in my opinion, optimal as far as the amount of thread that is being locked in place. And I'll show you in a second what I mean, and it will make perfect sense once I remove the first nut. So this is basically the money shot. These are the OEM stock upper strut mount nuts that come with it. And if you look closely in there, you see how there's that little bit of a gap? Well, I think you can understand why I'm going to swap this for that. Because we want to eliminate the gap and make sure that there is as much thread being utilized to secure these things in place as possible. And that is exactly what we're going to do. You see where I'm going with this? Somebody actually posted this in the past and I forgot to do it. So we're going to go from that to this. Of course, we're going to torque it down. And you can totally do this on your driveway without the use of a lift. Just make sure you get that done and don't go, don't go driving without the nuts, of course. And when everything is said and done, we are now in much better shape as you can see all three of them have been swapped out there's the other one hiding and i am now a lot more confident in releasing this car for its super long journey all the way back to utah there he is this is much safer guys if you haven't done so please make sure you swap those uh, nuts over and she's ready to go So, it's actually starting to sink in. Um, as you guys can see here, she's basically set up for the voyage. Uh, those of you that have not been following, I did sell this car to my brother-in-law, which lives in a whole nother state. It lives in the beautiful state of Utah, and that is where she's going. So, not that she needed to, she's gonna be put to the test by towing this bad boy a whole bunch of miles um, I figure I get this footage I don't know if I'm gonna have a chance to do it tomorrow but there she is it's bittersweet but you know what she's going to a good home yeah. all right boys <laughs> what are we doing Caleb Ace We're taking this what the heck are we doing here? Back to Utah. No. How many miles? How many miles? 2,200. <laughs> man, I got to tell you, I'm jealous, man. Can I go? Yeah, come. Look at this. We got pillow and everything. <laughs> We're sleeping in this forerunner or what? Oh, yeah. And people say it can't be done. It's going to be done. Say... Remember, guys, there's a lot more room on the other side if you want to just do the same uh, process on the other side. But Yeah. Let's hope the forerunner makes it. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Caleb, that's my nephew. You got it? You want me to teach you how to work this thing or what? Yeah, I don't know. Sure. Did you unlock it? It's a little heavy, that's why. It's, it's built for men. <laughs> Not boys. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I won't go too hard on you. Dude, I gotta say, man, 
I cannot wait till I see w w when do you guys arrive there. We'll take what are we talking here? April 7th? What time we got, guys? It's Cannonball style here. Yeah, Let's go. Let's show, let's show proof. I want a video back when you guys arrive. I'll send you a video. <laughs> We're on? All right. All right. Guys, safe trip. Ace, see ya. it was nice meeting you. Good meeting you. Definitely be safe, guys. Don't be doing anything stupid. <laughs> and definitely don't break the cannonball run, huh? Or the mailbox. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> There she is, boys. I will try not to cry. Oh, man. Yep. Five and a half, almost six years later. Watch the mailbox. Oh. The mailbox is on the other side. <laughs> All right, guys, be safe, huh? Yeah. Safe travels. There she goes. Later. We will see it again in June. Boy. I'm gonna miss it. Finally made it back to Utah. April 9th, 10.20 p.m. How many more miles on it? Oh, there's probably 180, almost 183. 183? Oh, yeah. And you're happy to be home? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. And everything's all in one piece. She made it. So as always guys, I hope you know that I'm always here trying to give you guys as many facts as possible, as much information as possible so that you guys don't make the mistakes that I make. So I do want to start off with the black overlays. Apparently, I did not know this, go figure, but there are some pretty good knockoffs out there and allow me to show you what I'm referring to. So as you guys know, I've done my overlay kit uh, in a recent video but apparently i bought the knockoff one without even realizing it uh, one trip to the car wash can i show you what i'm referring to do you see it already yeah that's cracked and not to mention look at that r do you see the chrome there so what i did was order the correct one and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a side-by-side -side shot of the knockoff versus the oem and you guys will see that there are actually some very substantial differences especially details on this trd one right here the knockoff which is what you're looking at uh, doesn't look as detailed as the oem ones well actually before i even take the u out man I am so amazed on how different it is. Look at the thickness on the top here versus that one. You see what I'm talking about? That is so crazy. Because the, the OEM one curves more than this one. This one is like more flat on top. You see what I'm saying? This versus that. Wow. That's wild. Guys, spend the extra money. I know I keep saying it, but yeah this has uh, sucked so far i'm not even going to show you guys the end result with this one but what i'll do is i'll grab the oem one and i'll show you the differences check that out man is that crazy or what there's no definition in between the letters 
on this one. You do not want this, I'm telling you. What a waste of time and money this was. But anyways, no more dwelling on it. I'm going to go ahead and swap them all over. Guys, keep your eyes out. It's definitely not worth saving your money, the headache that it does create. Because it's very clear they're not as durable as the OEM ones. If any of you was still on the fence about buying a 4Runner, I hope by watching this episode, I put any of your doubts to rest. Guys, it's a no-brainer. You just saw it firsthand. A car with over 180,000 miles. Just did over 2,000 miles in a couple of days. Made it no problem. I had no doubts that it would. Oh, let's not forget the fact that it was towing a boat. Anyways, man, what an amazing way to close this chapter. Uh, it is not goodbye. We will see it in the near future. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to smash that like button. If you haven't done so, please do subscribe because we got a lot more coming your way. But in the meantime, I hope you're enjoying your cars and I will catch you on the next one.